welcome to Random and Desperate. Well, here we go, folks. This is one of your favourite videos. It is the pub crawl round Morecambe. Now, we're only just round the corner. What? You missed one. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, that's right. So now, Right, that must, that must be the chip shop at the pet at something's pulp there. That's where the chip shop well, is. Well, let's go with the new in first then. Is it open? Yeah, there's one sat outside. Then there's one there. Right, folks, it's only two minutes away from our cottage, what we're renting for a few days, which I'll put the link at the bottom. It's just round there. There's there. And so, round this area where we are, there's loads of different little pubs. Now, this is the one where we're going in first, called the New Inn. The first pint of golden nectar. And I'm not going alone, people. I am with three special guests, which are Cousin Rose, Prim and Proper, the Dirty Vicar, right. and the famous Auntie Ethel. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm from here, here we go. Now, this is the first pub. Now, this is a proper local pub. Now, what I'm trying to do at first is try and do all the local pubs first around the back streets of Morecambe. Instead of staying to the front, we're going to do where the locals go. Here it is. Now, I'll be honest, it's a really quiet pub, this one. The good thing is that there's no music and there's only a few people in to start this adventure with random and desperate Auntie Ethel, Uncle Victor, not Uncle Victor, <laughs> start again, with Auntie Ethel, Cousin Rose, get my words out, Dirty Vicar, there we go, that's better. Now I'll give you a bit of an update, I have spoke to Uncle Victor, and maybe, maybe next year he might come back for a special video, yeah, because I know there is there's something going round called bring back victor hashtag bring back victor so watch this space folks watch this space there's the beer thank you vicar thank you now this is a sensible conversation no such thing so cheers everybody cheers. for the first pint of golden nectar. Cheers. Let the adventure begin. What's the youngest you've ever had, legally? <laughs> Twenty. Twenty? In fact, no. Nineteen. And what's the age difference? I was in my thirties. Okay, what about you? What, legally? Legally. 16. Okay. Me. I was 16. I better not say it or I might be arrested. Okay. <laughs> what? That bit needs cutting out, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> Definitely. No, tr no, truthfully, it might be about 16 when I was 16, to be honest with you. I know what well, happened. When well, I lost I was, my virginity. Yeah, when I was 18, I had, I had a, 19, a 23 year old, but that's not, it's the biggest age difference. It's biggest when, age? It's not that, because I, I was 19 and he was 23. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I went behind, popped the cherry. Well, that was like nine years. Five. Yeah. My biggest age gap. And I was younger. See, it's like Brett. It was about 20 with us. I was about 40s and he was 20s, so... I thought it might be my ex-wife then. Like Biggest stage eight, difference. Eight, nine about years. Four years, though. And that's <laughs> you. That is you. <laughs> no. Ain't it? Who is it then? Well, she was four years younger than me. Okay. She's only 32, aren't you? Same age, <laughs> same age as me. I wish. With, with no grey hairs. I wish. <laughs> Now, what do you think of this pub? It's really quiet at the moment. And it does remind me of, you've just been to church. You've just sung to God. Don't know what churches you go to. <laughs> <laughs> Up above 
and then you come in here for a quick no, pint and go to the next church on a Sunday. Yeah. You go into the old fashioned pubs that have got your old mud fires and it's all oh, cozy yeah, and roaring yeah. and hot. Yeah. And there's the smell of the roast Sunday yeah. lunches that they're cooking. That's yeah. where you go after. This is the this is the type of pub that you used to find back in the early eighties where it used to just be the, the working men. The old the old working men. Yeah. Because this is like the just came, just came off came doing an hour day's graph doing Five on o'clock the in, in the on the coals and, 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 and yeah. yeah. Stinking of BO and Drinking, coal and straight and in. Coming from Kingston stinking to White Gate. <laughs> <laughs> and going back to the lovely missus, she cuts some oh, a breakfast or cuts a some then tea and he comes back out for me for more beer and then after he goes back home for a chunk then yeah <laughs> gives her a fucking beating because yeah. the tea's not on the table exactly first time that, you ever do that to me mate you're dead <laughs> <laughs> i like to see that after we use so it don't hit me in the chest i didn't i ate your hand <laughs> Oh, my kids, my aunt was there. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, these two happy couple, they're recently married. It's a year and a half now, isn't it? No, a year and a quarter. Yeah. Oh. Year and a half next month. And a year, no. how? How come, if you got married on the sixth, the sixth month, the twelfth month, it's half a year. December, it's half a year. 18 months. Whatever. <laughs> it just feels like 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> the 16 months is actually, I feel like 18 months. But are you still happy together? Truthfully, no, no, no <laughs> lying this time, no joking. Happy. Right. First wedding anniversary is paper. She yeah. didn't give me the divorce papers, so I had to have an heart attack. I had to take it that one step further. The death do was path. But he survived. He did. It fucking well, didn't it? Yeah. She rang the ambulance too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll be honest. He's not joking about that. This poor gentleman did have a heart attack. And, but thanks to this lovely lady, and she is a lovely lady, brought him back to normal. And you do deserve credit for that because he's a lot better thanks to you. So take the praise. I know you don't like praise, but take it. You've done a good job. You've been a good wife. Better than elf, not in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> so surely it would be one, one, one because you're going one. One, one. By the time you got all the way to nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine, nine, nine was the longest one. One, one, one. Or zero, zero, zero. No, zero, zero, zero was after the nine. All right, so one, one, one then. Surely that, if on the old, doesn't matter now when it's all digital, but in the old, would he? Yeah, I remember that. The, the, the touch button is not so much because it's dunk, dunk, dunk. That's the matter. But the, the, the actual tap dial ones, you have to do it all. Put your finger in, yeah. right round. Yeah. Never ring 444 on mobile phone. Why is that? Takes me to my top up service. What? Takes me to my top up service. 444. 444. Uh, which I'll have to use yeah. <laughs> on some phones mm-hmm. it doesn't register as the top up and it actually misdials it and sends the GPS location of your phone oh that's a good idea yeah but we're being tracked all the time everything we do we just bought this beer we haven't paid cash that's it's it's logged that would have had another pint let's yeah but if you're on. wanted by the police to go let, let, let's track his phone let's find where yeah, he's been pinged exactly. that's when you've got no chance because he's yeah. always ripping things yeah. over there you're going to get pinged for about five phones there i just watched these programs ago where, where was his last sighting he's been pinged on there and pinged on there oh look there he is yeah. i get pinged by my door so I mean, well, you think how easy, how easy is that 360? That is what the police can do all the time for everybody. Yeah, yeah that's true. They, they've got your phone number, go to the service provider, ding, 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 maybe, where was he? Well, he was there, five minutes, always oh, heading that way, sorted. Everything, everything, you can do it. Well, you had a bit of dribbling, didn't you, on your phone? I've got a lot of dribble me, but <laughs> <laughs> dribble all <hot> the time. <laughs> Right, folks, we're just in the, we're just coming out of the new inn, and we're going to the next pub. <laughs> Come on, Auntie Apple. Thank you. Ta, thank you. Ta.
There you go. Uh, now this next pub is quite far. It's only, it's about one minute away, you're all right. <laughs> so the next pub which is just round the corner here which looks a very interesting pub round here now that was now that was say it's 50s or 60s design it is a bit dated there's not much atmosphere it probably needs a good clean but it's what it is now this is the next one cold and these the smuggler's den. Hey, you lot are fit right in here. Smuggler's den. Beer garden, real fire. What's Morecambe's oldest? This is Morecambe's oldest pub here. I know, I just read it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Will receive a reward of five hundred pound in seventeen eighty. Wow, that buy a mansion with that. Look at these old doors. Watching <laughs> this pub. There you go. I'll get this one. Can I... Now look at this pub. Isn't it unique? The smuggler, smuggler's den. One of the oldest pubs in Morecambe. Nice, and different. Now this was re recommended to me by Martin, the owner of the of the Bay Cottages. But look at it, isn't it nice? Got the old organ up there. Well, wow, this is an interesting pub. It's one of Random's pubs. Now what did what to do? Most of the pubs round here, join the little back streets, and this is this is one of my favourite ones. What do you think of this, Vicar? Different, isn't it? It is, it's alright. But I don't think you would bring a hot here, would you? It's not it's not one of them you'd go on your first date. Interesting. Yeah. Here she is. Hey, a couple of feel of that glass. Look at that. Good luck. Thank you very much. Look, some hole, finger holes. <laughs> I think we've all got them, haven't we? Hot finger holes and yeah. bum holes. And there's bum holes, then look. <laughs> now, Auntie Ethel, what do you think of this pub? It's different, isn't it? How much was that? I don't know. 17? No, it wasn't. 13. 13. So we're on about 12, 13 quid. It's not good. 13 quid. 13 and a half, 14 quid. Cheaper than mine then. What's that? Oh, there's a little competition going on here. Cheapy. Prize for the cheapest round of the night. You beat me last time. I know I did. Even in Weber spoons. I thought I got a real I cheap one. I can't again. I got one for five quid. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got the real L folks. So, Brian and Barrel and Nightingale and Carl on the real ale. Because I know you watch this. Check out these old pictures. Especially that. Isn't that beautiful? Just think how long that's been there. Nearly old as you. Oh. That one there. Quite a unique and special pub. Everything in here is absolute antique. Isn't it, Auntie Ethel? Including you. <laughs> Good joke, that, wasn't it? <laughs> well, have you seen the organ over there, Auntie Ethel? I want to get shocked. <laughs> no, why? See your organs. <laughs> <laughs> Check out how old that is. It's got the fireplace. Mm. And especially when you're in a pub, you very rarely see these. Do you want to put the old mugs up here? And your bench sheets were like, this is what they were, because you used to have, you'd just been your jug of ale and sat on the wall. They did, bench, yeah. That's all you were. They didn't even have problems, they wouldn't have had cushions yeah. originally. Or you went out fishing, then come in here and brought your loved one, your local hottie, and smelling of fish. 
cuddling, stroking, and then go back and make love. Why do you always have to bring that onto the conversation when you're talking about beer and pubs? Why, why, why? Well, you're going to see, I bet how many people, if you think how many people have met in here, how many arguments in here, the life story in this in this She's pub. Yeah, <laughs> you can feel it. <laughs> oh, you're, you're a loving couple, aren't you? No, do you know why I, I call you Cousin Rose? I'm not going to... You're not drunk enough yet, but I'll tell you why I call you. This will be fun. But this will be later on in the programme, when you're a bit more, let's just say, I did a few of them. But, right, folks, we've just come out of the smuggler's den and we're now off to the next pub which is called the bull now that was all right the beer was a bit say it politely oh, okay but where we're going now is called the bull's head now this is our third it's pub the bull. I think it's just the bull the bull this is our third pub of we're going to have a little adventure now it's them two was all right but we want some Young hottie serving us. You do. Do you know we've. I'll be happy with a deep pint of juice. Yeah, each pub has we've been in, but there was no music. Straight on it is. There was no music playing, blasting. It's, but here's a bit of the back streets, folks. Hopefully, further we go into the main centre, more interested it'll get. The buildings down there that have all been. Changed into schools and shit. Yeah. Right, here we're going for our next pint of golden net. And it's Random's Round. I'll buy this one. And if you look to the right there, just behind this camper van, look at that memorial here. Oh. Hey, up, I might get a cheap round here. He is bloody cheap, right? I'm having whatever that is. Uh, £4.20, £4 I'm having a Moretti. A Moretti? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So here we are, we're going in here now. This one. So what is it, £2? That's Carlsberg. No, I don't do Carlsberg. I'll drink it. Yeah, do you know what? There's bingo going on. Oh, is there? Yeah. All right, thank you very much. I like Chris Campo, but I'm having a Moretti because it's your round. Oh, thanks very much. I'm having a Moretti because it's your first. round. Ladies first. Right. I love this music. It's Kylie. It's that wet dream. Kylie. Yeah. 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 Okay, now we another one by the little That's oh, an unusual God, glass. It is. I like I'm, a, I'm an unusual guy. Have you got a big pocket? I have, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got a nice pocket in that mat. Oh, my. You're not a neat one. Not, in, not bound in, are right, you? Okay. I think I've got a disease. Oh, yeah. Why have you all got yellow puff then? It's, it's called nuts disease. It's called Nuts disease. <laughs> Pit one. I like that one. Pit one. Pit me nuts. Do you want salted or do you want roast? Oh. I have the salted ones and all in lights dry roasted. I know, but you can't really have the salt. You can't have the fucking nuts in general. Why? <laughs> Yeah, it's good fat. It's not good. The saturated fat is good. Oh no. Okay. Just the best thing to do mm. is just open the packet, leave it in the middle of the table, and if someone wants it, take it. See, it's very clever actually, isn't it? No. No pinches, touches nuts. <laughs> That's probably a fine. <laughs> oh, go and get fucked. <laughs> Happily married, aren't they? Two more days, the girls can mix with Loki again. And then you That's can have your nuts dog. touched whenever you want. Because then they can go back to bed instead of spending 18 months on the fucking couch. Why are you actually sleeping in your bed? I can actually go back to my bed on Friday. Well, because dogs, some dogs are upstairs and some are downstairs. And now they can all go together. We've got yeah. but the boy downstairs and the girls are upstairs. 
Loki can't have left alone. Loki's a mad ass. Oh, okay. He cries. He howls. It? Howls? I go to work at R4 and he's howling. Really? And he wakes the neighbourhood up. That's what I was told about Alaskan uh, huskies and Alaskan Malibus and all that type of thing because they're a pack animal. They used to be with 10 people put in a sled uh, and oh, they're there. Dogs. And then when you are actually there, you actually sleep in the little log cabin with the owners more often than that type of thing. With Lo when Loki and Angel were together before Loki jumped Angel and we ended up with the pup. They were fighting together. Jumped? Yeah, he jumped off. We ended up with nine puppies. Oh, jumped as in. Yeah. So when they were together, I could leave him downstairs or upstairs or wherever together yeah. and there weren't any kicking off. Yeah. But once we separated him and her because of the pups, he can't be left on his own. He's got to be somebody with him. Otherwise he howls. Oh. Like a baby. So if they're all in the same room and they've got the run of the house and they can find out, he knows he can go, oh, she's up there, and go up and top up. True. But check this glass out, look how cool this is. Is that a full pint or they ripped off? No, it will be a pint. It's a whiff of it. It'll make the way. It can't have that written on the side if it's not a pint. Yeah. M23. It's got to have it on it somewhere. Yeah. They are, these are M24. Oh, uh, I get you. Oh, I didn't know that. Measures. M23, M20. I don't know. Get a big red on the right. Yeah. You don't watch all the top of the 23. Yeah, also 23. Because the that. glass tape is out at the top. So you get a bigger head. So do you like head? I love head. Do you? Uh, what about you? Do you like a big head? No comment. <laughs> I'm talking about the beer. Oh beer? Yeah. No. Did you like a little head? I like it. Right, right to the top. Yeah. Right up to the top. You enjoy yourself, Auntie. Yeah. A bit different pub, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's more of a, a local. Local yeah. family pub. Yeah. Well, that's what we try to do. Instead of being the normal tourist pub, we'll go to the local where the locals go in Morgan. And it, there's quite a few dotted around Morgan. But we'll probably head more now to the centre of Morgan where it gets a bit more tourist. -y. Right here, it's, it's a Tuesday, they've got bingo in, they've got two, they've got families in, they've got dogs in, enjoying the golden nectar. Have you seen your cups, by the way? Your mops? Yeah, yeah, I've seen your merchandise. What do you think? Please don't buy an Anchefel mug. Well, you can if you want. <laughs> yeah, but you've got Anchefel mug, you've got Drinking with Captain, you've got Random mug as well. Mm -hmm. And if they want to drink their cup of tea with Auntie Apple. Wow. Drinking with Auntie Apple. Yeah. Now it's been going in. But I must admit, you've got a lot of locals in here who are enjoying the sociability and dogs and children and that's what it is. A bit more quieter, random and desperate pub club. A bit more wind down at the moment. <laughs> ever in this pub in the Bulls, called originally called the Bulls Hotel. Watch these low beams. Random. Just by yourself. Oh, just find yourself. Yeah, thanks for the sympathy. Hey. <laughs> next It really is a bit of a walk, the we next pub. Right, okay. It really is. It's too fast. Two minutes away. Yeah, it's two yeah, minutes okay. away. Well, we'll leave you somewhere then and we'll fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I think these two are unhealthy and we're like full of life. What? I'm just old. <laughs> no. Old. And what is a champagne fucking And I'm not be, I'm not being funny, I've got arthritis from my hips to my toes. If I can make it, you two fucks can make it. I was joking, I was joking. You'll make it, you'll follow, you'll follow random anywhere, whatever his adventures I don't mind walking. So, truthfully now, after you've experienced most of Morecambe, what do you think of it? 
It'd be better if there was a bit more life to it. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it is more commits for our biddies. Yeah, but that's like Dudno. But I enjoy Land Dudno. It's packed into it all the time, Land Dudno. Hmm. Yeah, it has got a... It's got a constant a bowl on it. That's your next, that's your next one. Another Land Dudno one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm still trying to get you fuckers to whip me in Castleton. I found it. Should go anywhere. What? What have I done? You have to choose your random and desperate well, places. Yeah, you've, you've never actually done Whitby, have you? I've never done. I've never been to Whitby. Oh. Nice little seaside town. Lovely little seaside town. Best fish and chips. Don't listen. Any hotties? Oh. Is it? Oh, I didn't hear him complaining. Oh right, okay. Oh, it has got a quite a goth, gothic vibe. Oh, okay. So Dracula was we really it's where Bram Stokes Dracula was actually written. Really? Yeah. Well, in Whitby? Yeah. yeah. It's where his boat crashed. Oh, right. Something I did, though. Oh, it sank. Should I say yeah. that? <laughs> we'll have to do. Yeah. There's so many. It's, it's nice in summer, we, but there is two. They do do it off Geek Week. So you've got weekends Abbey, Abbey, in an unmarked, unmarked grave. grave. But our subscribers, but we are subscribers now, because you get recognised, you get recognised, and you I got get... recognised outside work. <laughs> oh, did it say, oh, Cousin Rose, prim and proper? Yeah. <laughs> what did they say to you? Didn't I recognise you? I went, really? I went, yeah. How's Steve doing? Oh, what you thought, Brad? You're <laughs> desperate. It's definitely the jumper. <laughs> You get recognised all the time, don't you? Mm -hmm. Buying your four cans. I'm buying a pint of milk, actually. Oh, okay. Well, there's a wasp up on there, on that window. Anyway. <laughs> no, it's actually That's pan random, pan. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually buying milk. Yeah. Not cans? No. Okay. The cans came later. <laughs> 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 I was at three at home. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what did you do? Come on, you got Auntie Apple. Yeah, but I've seen it before. It was actually one of your subscribers. They recognised me. Okay. <laughs> well, you're getting all famous. We'll have to do a mug of you two, won't we? What? A mug shot. Yeah. Quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> what we could do is, Cousin Rose, you could do like the a rose and prim and proper, never swears. Yeah? They met me. Fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And the dirty vicar. Come and pray with me and have a drink at the altar. Am I going to get a picture of him in a cassock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could do. With his Bible. And she dressed that way. Did she make it while he's there? Oh, we'll have to get him dressed up as a vicar one time. <laughs> Just for a random pub crowd. A proper collar and everything. And with the Bible. Yeah. That, that sounds like a plan. Well, I'm not coming in a pretty prim and proper dress. No, you have to dress like a lady. What? Which Bible? Then? From which century? 1920s. For fuck's sake. My know? Bible or no, the a proper, Bible? The proper Bible. Or King James Bible or yeah. the... No, Nick McGrann's. McGrann's got two. She's got some. She's got two. What happened? Won't be happening. The only Bible I carry around is my good bear guide, I've told you. <laughs> but we'll have to get you dressed up as 1920s prim and proper lady. No. Do you know, with the gloves and everything and the long skirt. And, and what did you used to wear? I've got the perfect outfit. What? Just do it as a goth. Yeah, but what was that? You used to wear like. If you want me to like. Tight and this or what's it called? It's called the corset. Corset, that's it. A corset. That's why I said I've got, the, I've got the perfect yeah. outfit. Have I not? Have I not? Have you got a proper corset? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And the wits and everything else that go with it. The wits? All <laughs> oh, the wits and the chains. <laughs> Prim and The handcuffs, got a pair of them and all. And you could be makeup lady. Yeah. So in other words, you want me in a black wedding dress, don't you? Yeah. I used to walk around. <laughs> Hello. You're, you're perfect wedding dress. <laughs> a 1920s, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Oh my god. So you have well, to... Well, I'm, God knows what I'm dressing up as then. <laughs> what can Nancy Ethel dress up as? 
Sounds like a plan. Okay, if we're all getting dressed up and looking like cunts, what are you coming as? Just as well, just as well. No, that's no, 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 not happening. Not happening. What? No, 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 no. We're all getting dressed up, so are you. I'm thinking about it. We'll think about that. I dread to think your thoughts, what you like to dress me up as. Someone says, Oh, I'm a spare man. 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 Oh, I'm a
fucking bruise, my three grandkids with it. My boobs. It's my boobs. I believe it. Your bruise, your boobs. Your boobs, you certainly do. Go ass, go ass. Jumping. Two Calsberg. Oh, what are you having? Really on there. Well, that's that one, please. Like, what are you having? The red one. Yes, please. You don't have any of these on yet. Oh, no. <laughs> so have them. Looks like it's Carl in there, please. Yeah, okay, Carlin. Carlin. We've got Carlsberg, Stella. I'll have Foster's then, please. Foster's. Two Calsberg, Foster's. What are you Foster's having? Campo, please. Again, that's just dead expensive. It's not. It's, it's probably cheap. I imagine Stella. I don't like Calsberg. Depends who I'm drinking with if I drink Stella. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm nice. If you drink Stella with your mother, you're fucking killer. <laughs> I couldn't drink Stella. You can't drink I Foster's. I wouldn't even attempt to drink Stella with my mother. No. <laughs> because I would do with it. I could I'd do with it in sober. I could just drink anything and I'd still want to yeah. do your mother in. <laughs> but I can't drink Foster's, so I don't like Campo particularly, so Coos Campo is probably the next cheapest. Sorry. Over there. It's a dip. It's Oh, go and give us a Stella then. So it's there round. Get, get me a Stella instead then, please. You keep the dearies for me. Yeah, well, that's them. I'll give... Oh, thanks very much. That's supposed to be your best mate. Foster's. No, it was... Foster's. 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 Foster's, yeah. Oh, you could have got me a Stella. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I hey. don't know what's dear, really. I've got a punch in my boot. Right, folks, we'll sit here. For... Come on, team. Oh. Oh. This is pro probably the nicest. It is, Alex. It's so I went, I went into the little back street pub. You did, yes. And had the Davis round. You did, for and once. A little back street pub. Yeah. And we're in a posher pub, and what? it's cheaper. Gotta actually say, the first pub has actually had probably the best pint up to now that I've actually done it. It was, it was a good pint. Oh, I, I've got a really poorly arm now. Can oh. I, don't, don't you start? <laughs> You're gonna go uh, baby, gonna cry. Right oh, can I have a lift it? Oh, oh no, God, no, don't use any hands oh. tonight. Oh, poor you. I'll be sleeping <laughs> on the sofa if you're gonna be having any hands. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be doing fuck all that one, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to the other one later? Well, I'm gonna be doing that. I'll be falling up in my pyjamas, man. Seeing as you fucked up on the bed situation. I didn't know, I didn't know it was a. It was generally. So I've, got uh, the, I've got the sofa. I'm not that bad. I might scratch and take me underpants off, but that's what I do. I can't help it. Well, me and Auntie Ethel are sharing a bed tonight because of random's <laughs> issue. <laughs> what? No. What? I just, I'm not, I'm not going to sleep. I am staying awake all night unless I go on the sofa. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what, what are we going to do? You're not that lucky. Random, <laughs> random, random needs to learn to read a book. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps he needs to learn to read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that I bad. don't know, you're not that I'm bad. Not that you're not bad, that bad. Oh, to be fair, we took the smallest bed so you had yeah. more room. Yeah, that's true. That's the whole idea. So I can scoot over to the edge. I don't know which side is going on. Like, which well, that's why we, we gave you the bigger bed and we took the smaller one. Unless you want to cuddle. <laughs> uh, I don't want to cuddle. This is a rocking chair in that room. I just sit there all night going... <laughs> Straight jacket. <laughs> You usually do anyway, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and all my ladies minute. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Come on, Ethel. He wants more beer. You're just giving him yours. I know. What a good wife you are. I should have married you. We're the same age at 32, aren't we? Fucking 32. <laughs> Fucking wish I was 32. Yeah. Oh, by eight? Yeah. Why are we now? About our six. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ethel. Which what? case, I'm going to have buy four cans and sit up watching telly at least eight, 10 o'clock at night. Can't go to bed at 8 o'clock at fucking night. Oh, I can go to bed at 8 o'clock at night. I'm not necessarily sleeping at 8 o'clock at night. Oh, I'm up here. <laughs> Excuse me, I put my fucking earplugs in or turn the telly up loud. <laughs> right, the next pub is really far away. Come on, Ethel. 
No, I should be buying four cans because there's no way I'll be going to bed at eight o'clock at night. That's what I've been Yeah, it's all right. It's one of the best ones up to now. I can have cups of tea in that, but... Yeah, yeah. But... Yeah. Well, then the next pub is quite far away. Yeah, that one there is. <laughs> one. Yeah, that one. But look, there's all sorts of cadets. Pizzas and whatever you want. Like and I said, if we don't do takeaway. And I'm not being funny, but if that was open, we'd have another one there. Yeah. But <laughs> if we don't do takeaway, yeah. a couple of pizzas, put the oven on, jobs are good. Yeah. You know what happened with the oven Black situation Black at Blackpool? Yes, but the pizzas worked out. Friday 4am, that is a party. What is? 4am? Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. 4am, that is a party. Quick, quick. We're not here then. I know what's a party. Yeah. The Masons. The Masons. Oh. Whose round is it? We're starting mine, again, mine, aren't we? Mine. Yeah, Lindsay's done. Mine again now. Mine. I'm sure we've been here before. It rings a bell. Ding. This is where that fella came, I think. No, it wasn't that one. Ugh. Come on. Right, anyway. <laughs> Ladies first. Well, look. I hide the camera yeah. when there's a group. Me, me, Vault, 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 We've been in, and I'm sure they sell John Smith's on oh, cast. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, it is, yeah. So, on like, yeah, so, these are that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I'll have a golden hen, please. Golden hen for me. And a golden hen, please. Is this actually a green king pup? No. No, you just served their bit. Yeah. £14.90. Whee! Second day this round. <laughs> and she's paid for a buff? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Yeah. What the fluff? Fluff? Fluff. Flying fluff. Fluff. You, you with cut and rolls, pim and proper. Right, well, my first word stands. What the? I'm not buying another one. That's it. I'm, I've seen me ass today. I'm not having another one. Of course it is. Poor Auntie Apple. Of course it is. Wait while I'm in that bed with him scratching it all night. <laughs> Farting and snoring. Oh, I was snoring. I've been sleeping downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one couch, you take the other. <laughs> I'm quite happy. If I, if I feel uncomfortable, I just, I, if I go downstairs for the piss, I can't make it back up. I just sleep on the sofa, trust me. What? I'll sleep in the bath. I don't know, not shed it, just spider. The, uh, the original brickwork. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a bit tired, isn't it? A bit tired. That colour just felt like a sandstorm. Yeah, it is. I know. Why don't we swap beds? I sleep with you, and then she sleeps with you. No, no, no. I'm thinking more on the lines. You two have a double, we'll have a king size. We're sorted. Oh, my God. You might wear shaggy in the shower. <laughs> you ain't spooning me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I said to them two before, I said, Save time, you took an hour shower in the morning and said, This is why you were talking with your YouTuber fans and the girls. I said, You two have a shower in the morning together, that'll save time. I went, Maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> went, yeah we really it won't, save really won't save time. There's only one bathroom, aren't there? Yeah. But you three have done a dump already. I go in the morning. I'm a morning. I used to go when I first get up. Any time of the day. But I've done it. I've done it. And then I've done another couple since. So. <laughs> still, I still have catch up from spray. You got your spray, haven't you, just in case? In my poop spray. Yeah. I was making room for me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My sentiment says that way. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I still say it was that pie. <laughs> oh, that was that, that, that cafe was shit, wasn't it? That was crap. Yeah. That pie uh, did me. Yeah. That, what was it? Eric's cafe. Eric's cafe, yeah. I do not recommend it. No, oh, I don't. Uh -oh. Definitely not. Oh, yeah, it was ping, ping, ping on the microwave. 
I mean, I've been to places that have served microwave food before, and it was nothing like that. Like, like I said, my burger has never seen Scotland in its life. There's it's no way that was an Aberdeen Angus, Angus burger. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Not a chance. Look, well, you did cook it. I did see him cook it. But yeah, I that's the only thing they did cook. Yeah. Yeah, but it actually came out uh, frozen. And frozen? Straight onto a hot plate. Hot plate. Who's poisoning that? Is? No, it was cooked from cook this. They, they defrosted it and cooked it on a hot plate. Oh, right, microwaved it and then. No. Put it. It was through on to the hot plate, frozen. You could see, you could still see the ice crystals on top. Oh. So it had been in there a little bit longer than it should be. It should have been as well. Yeah. Yeah. And six ounces, my ass. How big is your burger? What if I make him a burger? No. I'll... Are you go you're going to share the same bed tonight? About fucking Zan. <laughs> Is this the second time now? Third time since we've been married. Really? Who snores, who farts, who scratches the balls? And... She snores, she farts. You definitely snore and fart. I think it's actually a competition where snoring goes in us <laughs> And the only balls I've got are on my chest, so I don't really scratch them. I'm sleeping with Auntie Ethel. I don't know what I'm We are cohabiting in the same bed <laughs> due to unforeseen circumstances. You are actually not sleeping with me. <laughs> We are cohabiting a king's ass bed. No. You fucked up on the sleeping arrangement. You, you're sleeping together because you're in the same bed, you're just not banging love. Oh, well. <laughs> Did he fuck up on the sleeping, sleeping arrangements? Oh, was it was it deliberate? Wow. <laughs> My secret's out. No, you are right. I'm a virgin. I'm not going to. You're a virgin, really? I'm a virgin. Remember, I'm remember the second name in this. Random and desperate. It ain't desperate. <laughs> well, my missus finds this absolutely. I hilarious. bet she's taking the fuck. Oh, she's she's, she's so pissing herself. Off. I bet she is. She says, "Oh, you're sleeping with a milf, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> so she's. I'm not a milf. Why would anyone want to run? Do you know what a milf is? Yeah, of course I do. Right. I don't know what a dilf is, and I've seen many. I've seen a few of them. I've seen a few dilfs. Even, even my daughter's maths teacher, <laughs> when she was high school. She said, I must be the only party in the world uh, let you your, sleep with another woman. She's a PE teacher, wasn't it? No. Yeah. Mine, my, mine, mine was a PE teacher. Mine was Kathy's maths teacher. Oh, my what? God. What? Oh. Like a, like a dill. Like a, what, what, What's a dill? You, you can, a dill, Dad would love Fabio to fuck. Loves, Dad would love to fuck. Same Milf like, is Milf the most likely to fuck. Right, okay, yeah. Hang on, he's a till. A teacher I'd love to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few of them in my time. <laughs> and I come out and Kathy goes, Mum, I can't believe you got the Oxford Maths teacher. says, well, I can't help it. <laughs> oh. Her PE teacher, oh my yes. God. As in Barbie's PE teacher. Yeah. I'd have done it. Seven ways to Sunday. I'd have done her maths teacher. I'd have done her maths subject as well. <laughs> <laughs> Not have a day of rest. Oh no, I'd have done her Sunday. Sunday would have been adequate for me. Well, my, I can't say the name, but my fiance is finding this hilarious. And all week she's been taking the piss out of me, laughing and joking. And, Are you sleeping with, with a MILF? Yeah, all week. I'm not a MILF. What is a MILF anyway? Mother, you'd Mother love, to love to fuck. To fuck. Ah, right, I didn't know that. The same as a DILF. Okay. But obviously the male version. You are sheltered. Very fucking sheltered by the looks of it. Now, I call you Cousin Rose because you're supposed to be prim and proper, no swearing, a ladylike, <laughs> perfect. Lady. Whips and chains excite me, love. <laughs> oh, Whips and chains. What's that song? Whips and chains excite me. But what? 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 Oh, that's a, that's a line of a song. Yeah, it is. Oh, I can't remember what the fucking song it is. From Beyonce. No. 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 Uh, what, what's what she called? Oh. As we see. 
Answers in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 come on. Oh, it's a line of a song, and I don't know what song it is. It's not Beyonce. Uh, no. It's not Beyonce. God, we're pissed, aren't we? Not Carly, no, it's not. No, it's definitely not Carly. <laughs> and no, it's not Christina Aguilera. Alright, hang on. I should Google. Mixed race. She's a mixed race lady, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, she's got really beautiful. Rihanna. Is it Rihanna? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Well done. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Rihanna. Whips and chains excite. La la la, come on. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that song was made for me. That song. That song was made for me. So, so that's actually surprising. I've actually remembered it. No, I've actually remembered the singer of a actual song. <laughs> Was she in a band at one point? No. Okay. And it's always been solo. <laughs> It's like what? It's always been so long singing. I don't know why that's not working then. So. She did a conversation. Yeah. You're in a pub, it's full of us. Best stuff, we've got no change. Yeah. These older pubs, we've got no change. There's nothing sweet and innocent about cousin bowls when S and M and shit like that turns me up. Okay, what what's Mark Suspensers for the dyslexic. Oh, Mark Suspensers! <laughs> for, for the dyslexic person! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mark Suspensers. For the dyslexics. No. Right. Sadomasochism. For pleasure is pain. You or like pain is pain. pleasure. I love you it. You need to watch Fifty Shades of Grey, then no one understand. No, you don't need to watch Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey is this shit. You need to read the book. So you was like, yeah, read the book. I was being, I was violently attacked by. No, 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 that's nothing you to do with this. You were violently attacked. Violent attack. attack. so I gave that. you a cheese on wheels, dick. Oh, cheese on wheels, yeah, we go. That's what my grandkids do, yeah, we go. So what's what's this beat up round to each other? Three weeks, two weeks. I come home with a bruised arm. I've got nothing left, I'm a sister the same bad as you. Which has changed, it's like me. No, they excite me, you're not sleeping with me, love. <laughs> well, maybe you should do. I've got nothing left, in me. Say what? You show her a pair of handcuffs and that's it. Oh yeah, game Say on. What? He'd fucking kill it. <laughs> He'd be dead. I nearly killed him. He'd be there. Exactly. He'd <laughs> <laughs> give me a attack. Yeah. <laughs> if she did the witch. That was a thought of it, love. That. <laughs> that was a thought of it. You'd be gone. Of it. Oh, you'd be be gone. gone. Am I a bit of a soft dick? Yeah, you know, wimp. All right, describe Randy outside the character. Outside the character, it's a little pussy. Still a little fucking softy. No, nicely. Do it, do that was nicely. Softie. What? You're a nice guy. You're a favourite. How the yes. hell? <laughs> right, outside random and desperate, you, the person behind random, how the hell are you still friends with me? Because my late husband was your best mate. Why are you still hanging around with me four years later? There you go, because you're a nice guy. Wait, so it was nice guy with the heart of gold. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It was loyalty to Andy, but I didn't realise would be my best friend. I didn't know that. You didn't realise you think you've got a fucking house suck on my piss head. <laughs> <laughs> suck on a few more now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this was sensible last few pubs. It was decent conversation. Yeah, you're yeah. fucked now, we're welcome. Yeah. A few, few more and that's it. For yourself. A few more and the witch can change my come up. Have you got your own for you? You left the handcuffs on the kitchen table. I don't want to be listening to whips and chains in the next bedroom. They like that kind of thing. Well, I don't know. He left the fucking handcuffs home on the kitchen table. In your gun. So what do you do with the handcuffs? Just handcuff each other. Well, he handcuffs me. Hang on. She, she, she can, it, well, handcuffs. Oh. If you got two pair, four bed posts, bed posts, and called bed posts, and four pairs. No, I've and got something that goes under the mattress for that. 
Alright, okay. My handcuffs have got work. Excuse me, don't want to know. Right, okay. <laughs> don't say too much. I've, I've actually got a thing that goes under the bed mattress. Right. That you can connect to the bed post and tie arms and feet down, spread eagle. Yeah, but your cousin Rose prim and proper. Prim and proper! It's a normal beagle. <laughs> But there's a, a lot of people on here say they absolutely love you. There's certain people who don't like you. I don't give a fuck if you, what you see is what you get. If you don't like me, don't watch. But there's that many people who absolutely love you. They think you're absolutely great. Yeah. What you see is what you get. You and if like you don't it. like it, jump the fuck on. You don't have to watch. Watch it. Don't watch the ones that Cousin Moses in. Simple. It's very true. Very true. Well, there is. The people who adore you think they're absolutely so funny, so honest to the world, and no bullshit. What's the point of giving bullshit out? All comes out in the wash at the end. It certainly does, doesn't it? Yes, I'm sick and twisted, but that's my business. Yeah. But I get so much. I'm keeping it behind my closed doors with my husband. Yeah. The fuck's it got to do with anyone else? I see a question, it's a cheese Do you? Honestly, I get some lovely comments about you. Oh, Cousin Rose, absolutely hilarious. What a great fun she is. And what one the nicest person you'll ever meet, but trust me, it's game over. There was one comment, I don't know who said it. They said, Cousin Rose is one of those people who you could lie on to the end. Yeah. Loy she'll be loyal to you to the end. If I, you're would nice for, I would kill for people, but cross me, and that's it, it's game over. Burn the bridges, and that's it, you'll never get back. I don't know, one lady said, Cousin Mo will give you her last penny. I would, and I have done. Yeah. Just to help. That's a good character. And that's when I was a single mum of four. I still help somebody else out. Nice. Yeah. Keep, keep it up. I'll always help anybody. I will give anyone my last penny. But cross me, and that's it. <laughs> You've had it. Definitely. Yeah. Whips and chains. No, because that would give me kicking some shit out of somebody like that would give me actual pleasure. <laughs> so, we'll leave the whips and chains out. We'll just use six. Whips and chains excite me. Do you like that song? Yeah. Huh? No, one of my subscribers said Cousin Rob would give, give her a last penny just to help somebody. Well, that's that's a person. It's a real gift. Instead of being selfish and thinking of yourself or whatever. Right. But people, you'll find people, people that have got the least are the ones willing to give the most. Exactly. I've struggled. Yeah. I've brought up four kids on my own. When we, when we, we first got together, we left that side of the room. Well, one of my mates have. What can I mean? Broke, broke. Literally made in the penny jar for a month. Because we helped them out. So if I, if I move... I was like that when I, when I, I had the kids. And yes, I was still married to me first. He was on a low paid job and I wasn't. And... The bus fare from my house, where I live now, was 15p. 15 15p? 15 pence, right. From where I live, where I live in the house for 42 years, into the town centre, obviously now it's a standardised fare, but then that bus fare that was 15 pence 40 years ago went up to £3 or went up to £1.50. I couldn't even afford the 15p. I used to walk it with a shopping trolley, do the family shop and walk back. Even in snow. I did it in snow. I used to walk it. I only have two. I only have two. And I fed my husband because he was working. I fed my kids. The kids had three fish fingers. If they ate two and a half, the other half was my tea. I ate what they left. Because I wasn't working, I made sure that my kids, my two kids were fed and my husband was fed because he was the one that was working. We've all done it. We've all been there. Yeah. And that's the choices you make. And if you don't make them choices, then well then, you're a shit parent. The way, the way I see but it the ones is... that do those sacrifices 
Do we eat the kids' leftovers? That's their tea. If you, if you can go without and give it to somebody else, who needs the eating yeah, bowl? Exactly, you. which is basically the same as what you've done with your old kids. But when yeah. you get to a it's very good. Last week. Well, what was that they time in Blackpool when we had that? Last week, there was a couple of yeah. people in Ashton. Homeless, both had dogs. I bought the two people something to eat and something to drink, and I bought them enough dog food to last each dog a week. Cost me 20 quid. Yeah, but why do that? Because, because why you struggle not? yourself. Because why not? I'm not struggling as much as they are. Exactly. Oh, oh, right. we are, in this day and age, there is no reason for anybody to be in that living in that condition. If the government got off their asses and did something about it, they wouldn't have to live like that. Because all the fucking £75,000 a year they get in the back pocket. And I'm not being funny. Spend that and give it to the owners. But that dog helps keep that person warm. Yeah, Protect that person, and that is their only lifeline a lot of the time. So why, not, why not pay to feed the dog? That as dog loves that human, that human loves that dog. It's a reciprocal thing. So really, each she, would die for the other. So really, she is a she is a cousin. Yeah. What's this? Proper cousin. But I've also got a sick twisted side. But she's got a daughter that does the same. She buys an extra one. She used to work for this food chain. She buys an extra meal and gives it to someone outside that needed it. My daughter used to do the same. She was at uni. She was, she was no, she was at college. She did a weekend job. She paid two pound a month to men cat yeah. for her uncle and two pound a month to Alzheimer's. She only gave them up when she got married and had her first child and struggled. I never even knew she was doing that. But a 16 year old on a weekend job, two pound a month to a charity. At one, they to at one point, so I had six charities on the go. And each charity meant something and was something close to my heart. Oh, you deserve a random cuddle. Wait, wait there. Oh, no whips and chains, no dicks. It's just spoiled me for you. Give us a random oh. cuddle. No whips and chains, it's not fun. Hey. <laughs> Honestly, what a lovely person Cousin Rose is. Absolutely a genuine salt of the earth. Respect you. I'm just going to be able to do that. Auntie Apple. Not through. Yes. Oh, I thought I told you. Look. I told you. Can't take you fucking anywhere, can we? Tomato sauce in there. Fucking no, back. chocolate ice cream. No, chocolate oh, chocolate ice, ice cream. cream. I fucking cream. splash back on you, fucking. This is growing. That's the next pub. It's only two that I can find. What is it? We've got King's Arms, which is where the front, on the front, next to where the Embrigo or whatever the fuck it's called. That's on the front as well, by the looks of it. And other than that, we're fucked. Unless we. Unless we go back. No, there's not. Let's go back again now. You need to get your phone and go on the. Because they're the only ones we can find. Oh, that's work. Oh, that's work. Going in. Sure, I'm out. Yeah, I'm already in my house. Now, now. Cheeky bastard. Hold on, Trish. Oh, thanks, pal. Thank you. Definitely needs to get something to eat at some point because he's just brought up his dinner. Has he been sick? Yeah. So he definitely needs to eat something before. Yeah, it's yeah, about to be. Look, take away there, we can get some. There's loads there. of it. But, loads of fucking take away programs in the room, in the house. Who are there? Take away programs. <laughs> 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 Give him a, a whack. I need! Take away menus. But I need to buy four cans You don't need to buy four cans of beer. But to be fair, yeah, because I'm not going to sit there and drink tea at eight o'clock at night. But to be fair, we have a doorway on the way in. There's one down here. There's one down here. Wait a minute, yo. 
you're fucking trying to set me down the fucking side hell is it mate? Go see how it's random. There's one here, one round the corner. That's all right, that'll do. Who's round is it now? Mine. Oh, I've done two fucking dairies ones, Joey! Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> and Jeffel, it's paid open. the dearest. It's not even open. Really? Yeah, it's dead. Door's open. Oh, I can try. There's I one think. here, one round the corner. Oh, it is that one. Uh, oh, oh, who's round is it? Sure. Right. Oh. <laughs> I don't want Carlsberg. She'll it's pick the dearest. I know, I thought I'd just let it go on Friday side. I don't like Carlsberg anyway. Thank you, Alan. Oh, Monday. 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 <laughs> but, but this might be a messy one. This might be a messy one. Of course, it's going to be a messy one. They've got cocktails. You're having a cocktail? Oh, look at all them jeans. I might have a vodka and all that. Sugar. I might even get a <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, 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 hey. Who cares? So. <laughs> Down the summer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ew. It's nice. That's the game that you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> and I've still managed to find the dearest fucking round game. That tastes like a How much were that? Yeah. Don't know. 15, round, 15 pound round, still cheaper than mine. Yeah. And I went into that little, little, little back street. Yeah. Fucking weren't. <laughs> and it was full fuck. Because it's a small pub, they have to charge full price here. Other places charge cheaper. Anyway, and, yeah. and, and Anti Ethel is still I'm, I'm loving that. Ah. still whinging because I've had still the biggest round. Right, we're going in that corner then. Come on then. Oh, look at that, that, that eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's later. No gas is like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not a proper one, anyway. That is nice. See? From a proper... It is. Go on, put your pinky up. Pink it. Put your pinky up. Nah, I can't do it with a pint. <laughs> Pat, you can. Of course you can, yeah, of course you can. Right. Hey, I can actually do it better you. than pies. <laughs> you going downstairs to this? Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's what I'm going to think of. At 2 o'clock in the morning, when I'm in the morning, I'm going to go downstairs. You go downstairs. Go downstairs. You fall. I 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 fall. I
You're, you're actually cooking. Oh, no, okay, now, God, I'm starving. Gents to the left, women to the right. Because women are always Maggie, fucking right. Maggie, you've got it in the wrong Women are right because women are, always, women are always right. Are, always, That's why always. women should always be on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Women are always right. <laughs> When I'm going to pub and the I, women's toilet, I have to go back on our bed. I'm on the right hand side. Kitchen side, over the table, sofa, over the chest freezer. Jesus. And on the stairs. On the stairs? No. Jesus. Wild woman. You've got nearly half a pint of this stuff. That's <laughs> a bigger glass. <laughs> I mean, I was just saying with Andrew, you've got chest pain tonight, nah, it's alright. You're not going to see me in COVID, that Jesus, was Julie's fucking... Man. Thank you! Fucking dead in November. That's a bigger one. Oh, you're going to get a leg over tonight, pal, with whips and chains. It was getting a leg over anyway, I've not brought the whips and chains. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've just had a Chinese, that's what a video anti-F will wash and go. No, I'm wiping. You're wiping. Because yeah. I'm now, because 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 i am now 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 all right, you, you can show me. I, I can just watch and observe. Oh, who's is the, who's who's is the only place man that needed washing? Steve. Fucking yeah. Steve's, yeah. What? Yours is the only place man that actually needed washing because you're a fucking... 